Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Coral Blade Grotto broadcast. This is a special edition of the broadcast, a special reaction video. This video was sent to me by a student of mine, and it's my understanding that this video is not accessible on YouTube or anywhere else, um, and for good reason. After you see it, you'll see why. Now, just when I thought I was done reacting to, or commenting on, or auditing the performances of Russell J. Gould, something like this comes along. And it's something that I feel that my uh, fellow mankind ought to see. Because as you may know, the focus of myself and of this channel is the grammar. It's correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. It's cultivating those three critical principles of honor, grace, peace, neutrality, rule one, rule equal. Kindness, do no harm, no trespassing. We don't trespass on others with our grammar. The grammar is used to stop trespass we don't tell other people what to do we don't tell other people what they shouldn't do bottom line we do not tell people what they should or shouldn't do we don't force them to do anything we don't mandate anything we don't want people to be subservient to us nor do we want anyone over us we cultivate a geometric level playing field of contract rule one rule equal bottom line that's what correct sentence structure is all about peace neutrality rule one rule equal honor and grace now this video you're about to see there is an extreme voidance of that in this video so to begin with I'm going to look at the initial platform that this video uh, was published on and I'm going to look at the grammar that's attached to it. So as you can see here, someone named Sweet Action Patriot posted this and they forwarded it from of the Russell hyphen J with the Gould hyphen channel period. Of course, you know that this is not correct. The colon must be tied up against the R in order for it to be correct sentence structure because every single correct sentence structure must start with a cause. And with correct colon mechanics, that cause is the positional FOR represented by the, the colon being tied up against the first letter of the first fact. But, I mean, we've come to expect these types of mistakes from this individual and his worshippers and followers. So we have, for the closure of the... And then we have this word, CIA, in italics. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what does italic... What do italics do? Don't they fall under the four-corner rule? Like brackets, parentheses, quotations cursive so this is not on the page so this sentence right off the bat is adverb verb adjective pronoun fiction babble nonsense it's a fraudulent conveyance of grammar because CIA is not there so therefore it says for the closure of the is Do you see what I'm saying with this speech hyphen performance by the postmaster hyphen general of the Russell hyphen J with the Gould. So it doesn't even end on an authority. It ends on, well, let's put it this way, ladies and gentlemen, try and read that backwards. Even without the, the CIA voidance fact problem in the concern section before the verb. Try and read that backwards. Have it start with a cause, followed by a concern, then a verb, then a possessive, then a concern, then a possessive, then an authority. See if it works out to that mathematical interface. 
because it won't. So then you have, again, the same problem with the name, with these <sighs> colon space, colon space. And then we have truth bombs at the truth tutor. So at is being used as a positional. How? If it's one word, one meaning, one and one is one. If it's one positional, one congruency, one function, for having the function of cause, of having the function of concern, with having the function of possessive, and by having the function of authority, what is that? What does that function as? It can't be cause, concern, possessive, or authority. It has to be something else. And if that's the case, how can it fit into the mathematical interface? Why didn't David Wynn Miller teach that? So that's not correct sentence structure either. Bottom line. Truth bombs. That's an interesting fact. Well, it's not a fact, actually. <laughs> it's actually a... Uh, it's actually an adjective. But bombs, those are, those, are war, those are instruments of war, aren't they? And if we have peace and neutrality, if, if correct sentence structure is a neutral condition of state, why are we talking about bombs here? Don't bombs kill people? All right, let's move on to the video. So ladies and gentlemen, again, I would invite you to search your memory, search your recollection. And if you don't have a memory of this, I highly recommend you going out onto YouTube and do a YouTube search on uh, David and Russell directors parties or Russell and Gordon or, or things like that. Look those things up. Watch the manner in which Russell J. Gould behaves when he's in the presence of David Wynn Miller. Just observe the body language, the gestures, and the tone and manner of which Russell conveys what he says. And once you have that recollection or that memory planted in your psyche, then watch this video and compare and contrast. And remember that this Russell J. Gould did not make an appearance until after his... his uh, teacher after his master had passed away. And by master, I don't mean master like slaves or anything like that. I mean his, his teacher, his guide, the one who taught him everything that he knew. I'm not even going to go into the grammar on here. Uh, some of my more advanced students will know exactly what is wrong with all of this because there is a lot with it. Let's just get into the video. Brace yourself. Oh, I must warn you, there is some foul, foul language in here. And as I've said before, through my 50 years of experience on this planet, yes, I've been here for 50 years, I have found that the way an individual conveys themselves or conducts themselves, what comes out of their mouth is a direct reflection of what's inside them, what's in their heart, the way that they say things. So if they use a lot of angry and foul language, that's usually a reflection of what's going on in their inner spiritual condition of state. That's an opinion, of course, as is this video. It's an observation that I've made, and I find it to be true within my own construct. Here we go. U.S. Secret Service and I have a different arrangement. On F.E. Warren Air Force Base in 2015, I had to knock the shit out of a bunch of agents. Okay. You heard what he said. 
All right. So this is a very impressive presentation here. He's He's got an audience who's probably paid, you know, shelled out some bucks to watch this performance. And compare, again, compare his presentation here, everything about it, the way he's conveying himself, conducting himself, his appearance, the way he's dressed, the way he looks. Compare that to when he was with his teacher, David Wynn Miller. So he started off, he had to knock the SHIT out of some agents. So is that like a, a physical confrontation? I mean, is this the same, like when he knocked the SHIT out of David Wynn Miller, his own teacher, who was his elder? Is it the same type of thing? Were they a bunch of old men or, or what were they? Let's find out. Maybe he'll tell us. Clowns in action were in the room. Clowns in action stood down and walked out of the room and said, fuck it, we don't have a contract with Russell. We're out of here. So he cleared the room of the agents. And the agents left the room because they didn't have a contract with this guy. I, I really don't know what, how tall this guy is. Or anything like that. I don't know if he's had any uh, martial arts training or anything. But the way he speaks of himself, he really he sounds like he's a very formidable physical specimen. That uh, CIA agents are fearful of him. And that he's capable of physically assaulting and getting the better of a number of them. That's quite an impressive feat. If I might say so. Walked out the door. See, the clowns in action, otherwise known as CIA, that's a, that, those are bad guys. There's good guys caught in within the regime, but what they've done to the world and how they've allowed the human trafficking and the war machines to propagate against we the people is unacceptable. Period. Period. These are scumbags. The family should not be proud of them. You should not be proud of yourself if you're in the Central and No Intelligence Agency because grammar is relevant and you know it. First conversation I had with the central note. Grammar is relevant and you know it. Who knows it, Russell? With the honor and grace, I will say that I think by relevant you mean that grammar is critical. It's important. If you really think that, then why do you continuously make the same mistakes over and over? over and over again in your grammar performances. Why do you teach people to make those same mistakes on their documents? Sounds a little fishy to me. Intelligence agency was in, out in Honolulu, Hawaii in 2001 after I'd taken the, set up the quantum banking system. And I said, Russell, why do you always talk down to us? I said, well, you pull out your badge. And he pulled out his badge. And I said, Central Intelligence Agency. I said, are you a moron? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we talking about? The three principles. Honor, grace, peace, neutrality, rule one, rule equal. He's always talking about rule one, rule equal. He's no better than anyone else. He says this. He says he's a kind, decent individual. He's no better than anybody else. He's just a regular guy. He's a humble, average Joe. But he feels that he can call another man or woman a moron just because they don't know correct sentence structure? Really? Is that the, the demeanor that this man has towards his fellow mankind? To call them a moron? And they ask him, why do you speak down to us? And in so many words, he said, because you're a moron. I mean, he, quite have easy, he could have easily, just as easily said, because you have a second grade reading level. But uh, instead, he said what he said. He called them morons. He did the old 
ad hominem attack, which is a logical fallacy, which if you study the trivium method or just look up uh, logical fallacies, you will find that it's in there. It's one of the most common go-tos for individuals who are ignorant of how to back up a claim that they've made. But let's go on. Let's see what he says. So far, he's called them morons and is talking down to them. Let's see what else he has to say. Let's see what other uh, elucidation he has for these CIA agents. I says in as a prefix to a as as a prefix to a word means no. So are you actually running around the world telling everybody you're not intelligent? Actually, if you would parse the word intelligence, Russell, or viewer, whoever's out there watching, yes, in is is a particle of negation because number one. It's a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word, which is no contract. Also, the prefix in is no contract. But if you look at the word in, tell, e, gens, it's a very specific word that the military especially likes to use because it is data that you don't tell to anyone else. It's a data that is um, sectioned off. It's uh, compartmentalized data, not available. Like knowledge is available to everyone, but intelligence is not when used in that context. But uh, I digress. Are you, a, are you an idiot? Do you need help? Are you an idiot? Do you need help? More condescension. He says, Russell, we just want to kill everybody and then have you run the show afterwards. And I said, no, thank you. I said, I'm looking forward to all of you dying. I'm looking forward to all your family dying. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the whole reason I put this video up. This man just said he looks forward to the CIA agents dying. And he also looks forward to all of the CIA agents, that's plural, agents, He's looking forward to their families dying. Their mothers, their fathers, their sisters, their brothers, their children, their grandchildren. Russell J. Gould is looking forward to them dying. I don't know how that makes you feel. But this is a far cry from the Russell J. Gould that I began watching in 2017 and the one that I reached out to in the hopes of finding a decent, honorable man who had a legitimate, not a legitimate, that's a wrong word to use, sorry about that, uh, got caught up in the fiction for a minute, who had a knowledgeable and authoritative position with which to actually help people with kindness. That's what I thought. That was my impression of him. When he said, that he was kind and he was here to help, I took him at his word. That he wished no harm on anyone, I took him at his word. That when he explained rule one, rule equal, how we all come onto this plane in the same way with no knowledge of what came before and that the basic rule is do no harm, I believed him. Well, that has completely done a 180 and this right here is continuance of the evidence as to why. This man wishes death upon men, women, and children that he has never met. Now, whether it's uh, whether he is saying it to make a point, and he oh, he doesn't really mean it, doesn't matter because this is what comes out of his mouth now, and he always says he means what he says. He measures his words. Well, there you go. This is the real guy for you right here. And all of you in the background, and anybody who wants to make fun of me, step on up, walk a day in my shoes, walk into my court venues, walk into my post offices, walk into my banks, and you'll find out who daddy is. <laughs> okay, we're getting back into the uh, WWE territory here. 
But uh, he's right, though. If you walk into his court, you walk into his domain, he's going to show you who he is. All those people in that little room there, they're in his domain, and he's showing them literally who he is. And I think that's the whole reason why this is not a public video. Because he doesn't really want the rest of the people to know who he is. Because this is who he is. He's not the guy that talks like this in the videos with Sasha What's-His-Face or that other guy in the Patriot videos and things like that. No, he's not that guy. He's this guy. That's the conclusion I've come to anyways with the evidence that I... All those other videos that had him uh, kicking things around and swearing and cussing when that uh, Sergeant... He and Sergeant uh, Horton butted heads. All that stuff's been scrubbed. His channels have taken that stuff down. Why? I think it's because his handlers don't want people to know who he really is. I think that's why he's very hard to get a hold of. You have to pay to see him. And I think this is why that uh, he's been bottlenecked and uh, sort of hidden away. Because he does things like this. And you'll find out your ass is locked up or getting shot. Period. And there's the threat. You're getting locked up or you're getting shot. So now he's threatening to murder people. Russell J. Gould threatening to put people in prison or to shoot them. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how that makes you feel. But even though I've, I've poked fun and I've laughed during this video... Looking back on it right now in the now space causes a little bit of sadness in my heart because of what I used to think about this man and the sort of the, the dream that he caused me to believe in and get motivated to learn this grammar, which I will be eternally grateful to him for that, for motivating me to do that. And for all the things I learned from his videos prior to 2017 about postal mechanics and banking mechanics and shipping mechanics, I thank him for that. I thank him for the Live Life claim template that he sent me back in 2017. Um, and all the correspondence that we had uh, up until the point where he... Well, I won't get into that, but in any case... I'm also very grateful that I never got mixed up with him or his construct, especially seeing what he has actually turned into, or maybe it's what he's always been and now he's only showing it now. I think I can understand now, and this is speculation of course, uh, David's frustration. Uh, I've had, you know, as I said, I had the opportunity to speak with David uh, during the last year of his life, on and off. And he did express frustration that uh, Russell throw temper tantrums uh, and go off the deep end for a couple days and then he would regain his senses and come back. Well, now guess what? And again, this is speculation. He doesn't have the father figure. He doesn't have the teacher David here to rein him in or to help guide him anymore. He doesn't have someone there to be his moral compass anymore. So now he's going around wishing death upon families and threatening to shoot people and put people in jail. Now, if that's something that you want to participate with, I mean, that's entirely up to you. To me, I mean, I think I have enough of that with the fiction system. I have enough with the fiction system wanting to lock people up and wanting to shoot people and wanting to murder people's families and things like that. That's The fiction system does enough of that. I don't need any more of that. That's why I do what I do. Uh, I teach autonomy and those three principles, balance of the honor and the grace, position of peace and neutrality, and uh, maintenance of rule one, rule equal. And that's what the grammar is all about for me. And that's what I teach. Uh, but I had to do this video just to kind of put a little bit more closure on it with my position. I'm absolutely 100% sure that I will never ever have anything to do with the character you just saw in this video simply because I don't participate with people like that. 
to me that is reprehensible not cool not my cup of tea in any case if you want to learn the grammar go ahead and email me at the email address at the bottom of your screen I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation where you can apply for a correct grammar workshop we'll find out if that's uh, the right thing for you to do if that's what you want to do or you can study the over 400 videos on this channel you can also hit the, the join button under the video and uh, join one of the two tiers on the channel so if you join tier 2 you will get access to exclusive content and uh, polls and if you join tier 1 that's just you saying thank you to me for the thousands of hours I've already invested in this channel and I do appreciate it thank you very much and until the next time peace be with you